truckload of ping pong balls rolls south to a rendezvous with the Mythbusters. Meanwhile, at a cold and foggy Monterey Bay, there's something very fishy going on. It seems that you can't plan for everything. There's a uh, fish processing factory behind us, and they're unloading a few thousand pounds of squid, a good portion of which seems to be chumming the very water that we're going to be raising the methanic in. We're emboldened by the fact that there's only been one shark attack in the recorded history of Monterey Bay. Gallons of squid juice are creating a stink. This myth is putting the pong into ping pong. Well, the second problem is uh, directly a result of the first, is that all this fish juice that is enticing marine animals to come and feed is also limiting our visibility a lot. As they race the ping pong balls towards the bay, right. the guys call in expert help from Robert Flores, a professional salvage diver. Robert, have you heard the myth about somebody that tried to float a sunken boat with a bunch of ping pong balls? I've heard of it, but I've never seen it happen before. Oh, well, what do you think? Is it possible? If you can get the ping pong balls underwater and you get enough of them in there, I think you can get it to float. Robert, what are the dangers in doing this kind of salvage work? Uh, in this kind of a situation, you're going to be working inside of a vessel, so you've got an overhead environment. You've got to be particularly careful of your air consumption rate. And, of course, a dramatic loss in buoyancy for a hatch cover to blow open or the ping pong balls to escape dramatically would cause the vessel to immediately sink again. And if anybody's in it, underneath it, or near it, and gets caught in any of the ribbing or ropes, it could be extremely dangerous. You feel like helping us? I'd be glad to give you a hand. I want to watch this one happen. The truck has arrived, and the team get to work unloading 60,000 ping pong balls. Moving this mountain falls to Myth Turn Christine, and it's getting up her nose. They stink. Never imagined ping pong balls would smell so bad. Worst case scenario is actually going to happen to me today, which is to collect 60,000 ping pong balls and find a place to put them. <laughs> First blood falls to the box cutter. Another Mythbuster injury. I've had candy exploded on my face. I've been shocked twice. I had scaffolding fall near me. And now this. Can she stay the distance? Yes, I think I will survive the series. Uh, but I think I'll probably use up eight of my nine lives. Christine can take care of herself, but the local wildlife need protecting. Adam and Jamie seek advice from Rachel Saunders of the Monterey Bay Marine Sanctuary. We're actually about to potentially release like 60,000 ping pong balls into this marine sanctuary. And what would be like a worst case scenario with those ping pong balls, do you think? Well, we would want to make sure that no marine animals swallowed them, for example, and hurt them in any way. So that would be the primary concern. If they swallowed it, it might get lodged in their throat um, and they could choke. Um, they might pass it through, but you don't know. Um, and, uh, you know, I think Jamie here actually possesses a, a, a certification in otter CPR. <laughs> right. Well, hopefully uh, that won't happen. We won't have to learn how that would work. <laughs> Forewarned is forearmed. The guys decide to seal off the salvage area to keep marine life and ping pong balls apart. Hey, Jamie, they're calling you. They saw the mustache. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> While Adam feeds the rig up above, Jamie and dive master Robert will be down below at the business end, marshalling balls into Mythtanic 2. The rig works, and Jamie clocks in for the early shift on the ocean floor. They're off, and the first of an estimated 50,000 ping pong balls are pumped into Mythtanic 2. Things seem to be rolling along. up, there's a hold up. When Adam feeds in too many balls at once, the system chokes. He's reduced to feeding them in a handful at a time. One hour into this myth and spirits are sinking. At this point I've only emptied uh, like four or five boxes. That's like six or seven thousand ping pong balls. I don't think that means that 50,000 needs to take ten hours, but um, we're going to have to pick up the pace in order for us to get a reasonable amount of balls into there in a reasonable amount of time. Then Robert pops up with a suggestion. I think the hose is still too long. I got all this slack and I've got all the photos.